just know him from far. So it's not correct for me to talk about him for you. But I can talk about the way he lived for. All of you know very well that although he was a Shia Muslim, but you rarely hear him, heard him, that he talks about that. You know why? Because he believed in unity of Muslims. He believed that the Muslims should stress uncommon things and convergence than divergence. He lived for unity as, of Muslims. This is what I heard from his students and his family. And this is what he taught us to follow. Not only that one, but also you as Muslims, you are living in a Christian country. You have to follow the peaceful coexistence with Christians and other religions in this country. This is the most important point. I remember in my remarks in the other ceremony we had almost 35 days ago for Sheikh Abdullah Nasser, I mentioned that when you look at Quran, you have more reference to people and Nas than to Muslims. Humanity is more important. This is what we believe we have to follow. I would like to read a poem from one of an Iranian poet named Sadi. It is very famous and you can find this piece of poems even in the United Nations headquarters in Geneva. I would like to conclude my short remarks by reading the English translation of this poem. Human beings are members of a whole in creation of one essence and soul. If one member is afflicted with pain, other members uneasy will remain. If you have no sympathy for human pain, the name of human you cannot retain. You see, there is no difference between people. The humanity is the important thing. May somebody, some people don't like that. But this is the real message of Islam. This is the real message of Quran. Thank you.